Delivering with DoorDash in Las Vegas, Best Areas, Tips, and Tricks Hey everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're diving into the ins and outs of delivering with DoorDash in Las Vegas. If you're considering dashing in Sin City, or just want to optimize your current deliveries, this video is for you. We'll cover the best areas, share some tips and tricks, and give you the lowdown on what to expect. Let's get started. Choosing the right area. Las Vegas is a unique city with distinct areas that can make or break your DoorDash experience. Here's a breakdown. The Strip. Known for its constant buzz, the Strip offers frequent promotions and decent tips, especially for deliveries to hotels. However, be prepared for heavy traffic, challenging parking, and the occasional long wait for customers to come down and get their food. Spring Valley and Summerlin. These areas are highly recommended. They have less traffic compared to the Strip and offer a good volume of orders. Summerlin, particularly the northwest part around the 215 freeway, is a top spot for many dashers. Northwest Las Vegas. Another great area with decent money-making potential, especially if you dash in the mornings and afternoons. Henderson. Known for its nicer neighborhoods, Henderson can be a profitable area to dash in, though experiences may vary. Avoid Northeast Vegas. This area tends to be slower, with lower tips overall. It might be worth exploring other parts of the city for better opportunities. Dealing with apartments and houses. In Las Vegas, many deliveries are to apartments, which can sometimes mean lower or no tips. However, promos in these areas often make up for it. Deliveries to actual houses are rare, and you might go days without one. When you do get house deliveries, they often come with better tips. Handling the Strip If you're familiar with the Strip and its intricacies, it can be a goldmine. Make sure to leverage the constant promotions available here. Always call restaurants ahead to find out exactly where to park to avoid unnecessary delays. Be patient with hotel deliveries, as they often come with decent tips despite the wait times. Tips for success Multi-apping. Consider using multiple delivery apps like Uber Eats along with DoorDash to maximize your earnings. Safety first. Always trust your instincts. If you ever feel uncomfortable, have someone on the phone, and carry protection like pepper spray or a loud alarm. Plan your shifts. Schedule your dashes during peak times, such as lunch and dinner hours. This will help you get more orders and better tips. Stay updated on programs. Las Vegas no longer has the top dasher program, but the dasher reward program is in place. Make sure you understand the benefits and how to qualify. Avoid certain orders. Some dashers recommend avoiding orders from Taco Bell, McDonald's, or Popeyes due to frequent issues with these deliveries. Find what works best for you through trial and error. Comparing to other locations. Some dashers have found that while Las Vegas can be lucrative, other locations like California, specifically LA, offer higher guaranteed earnings, better mileage pay, and healthcare stipends. It's worth considering if you're able to dash in different states. Conclusion Delivering with DoorDash in Las Vegas can be both challenging and rewarding. By knowing the best areas, planning your shifts strategically, and taking advantage of promotions, you can maximize your earnings and have a smoother dashing experience. 
Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tips and tricks on gig economy jobs. See you next time. Feel free to add more details or personal experiences to make the content even richer and more engaging.